It's the elasticity of time that the Viking makes you think about. Because, you know, sometimes a 10 minute stretch just feels grueling, it feels like it's hours. And then sometimes two hours go by in a blink, you know, and all of a sudden you're 25 miles farther down the road. The music is really like that and reminding myself to let it be that way, to not force the issue, to push when you have to push and glide when you have to glide has been something really affirming about this trip so far. The Acoustic Bicycle Tour is what I call a performance journey, uh, trying to turn a five-week, almost 2,000-mile trip uh, from Vancouver, British Columbia to the U.S.-Mexico border into an act of composition. The irony of being a you know, creative improvised musician is that so much of this music was developed and innovated in the United States. Yet, of course, you know, I tour more in Europe than I do in the U.S. I'm playing places in the U.S. I've never played before. This is the first time I played in Seattle, the first time I played in Portland, you know, but I played in Paris a dozen times, you know? I mean, we don't get the opportunity to present this kind of music in our own country, even though for me it very much is a deep reflection of our country. So sort of getting it out on the road and sort of putting it in the United States is something that's actually really important to me. You really do see the good and the bad of America when you do something like this because you meet some beautiful people, these incredibly creative musicians. You also struggle past really blighted industrial zones and clear-cut forests, and you get run off the road by giant, gigantic you know, trucks or, or RVs. So you have that sense that we have this country that has such incredible creative potential and such incredible natural resources and personal and human resources. And then you also have a sense that we're a culture that's so consumptive and so capitalistic in a way that can be very destructive. The kind of music that I make, I think, requires patience in a good way. You know, it's not something you can sit down to and have the immediate hook and the immediate gratification. It's something that you kind of invest in and go on this journey with.